been brewed long enough, you can tell just by looking at it. You won't go far if you don't get the basics right, kid. If you're glued to a screen, you're going to miss what's important. Got it? Yes, coach. Right. Girls in. Late again, Lurch. Sorry, coach. It's the buses. Why am I not surprised? Pitiful, pitiful. Go on. What are you doing? Leave her alone, this is what she does. Don't smother her, let her recover. Right, everybody, touch your toes. Can you feel it pulling? Don't play around. Push. Yes, coach. Good. Right, hamstrings on your back. Now listen up everyone, we can't afford any more injuries. When I was training with Lewis's dad centuries ago, coach used to stand on our knees to really force a deep stretch in our thighs. Lewis, ask your dad if he remembers. Will do coach. Right, change legs. Here, here, rest here a bit. Rest here a bit. Come on, come on. Okay. What has gotten into you? You are pushing way too hard. You know, you have to say what's on your mind, Sabrina, if you want people to understand what you're thinking. I just want to stuff his bloody whistle down his bloody throat. Vincent Revy. <laughs> Why am I still with him? You are doing what everyone else struggled to do. You are playing the long game. You're putting up with him. You know, I remember how you used to train for championships. You're so focused. I hated it. Everybody knew you were going to be a brilliant junior champion. And you were. And we all know that you're going to be an even better coach. Listen up, everyone. I'm not going to be around next week. It's unavoidable, but it has to be done. So you'll have a standing whilst I'm away. I want you to listen to them, give them your best, and remain focused. Sabrina, I'm trusting you to look after them. And I trust you lot to behave yourselves. Who knows? We might have a decent coach on our hands. Right, I'll see you when I'm back. I'm trusting you to manage it. Shouldn't be too difficult, just follow what I've done. I need them in good shape for the competitions when I get back. So, nothing fancy and no injuries. I'm trusting you, kid. What are you doing? This is what we do every training session. Yeah. I thought it might improve engagement and energy levels. Let's do Rob the Nest and... Boys, I want you to go over to the girls. Are you not joining in, Lewis? Nope. Can't see the point. Can't see the point of mixing the teams. Why put the strongest with the weakest? It makes no sense. Vincent would never do that. Yeah. I know it's not been done before, but you might actually have fun. I know exactly what's going to happen. Maxine's going to finish last, but this time she's going to drag the rest of her team down with her. Connor's going to come in late for whatever reason. Then the best athlete's going to win. You seem very certain. He's the best athlete. 
Well, I am the fastest here. Are you sure about that? So the player who collects the most cones in one minute wins. On your marks, get set. I almost had you. Did. You did? Yeah. Was it good? You're pretty quick. <laughs> You're close. Sorry, I'm yeah. I am so impressed. So, yeah, all of you, go home, enjoy yourselves, relax, and I shall see you again tomorrow for training. But, yeah, big well done, everyone. Now go home, relax. <laughs> See you later. Thanks, Lewis. No worries. I just want to apologise for the way I could have come across earlier. I don't want you to get the wrong impression of me. Forget about it. <laughs> Thanks for helping and staying behind. No worries at all, no worries. So, um, I've been thinking, would you mind helping me out for the next few days? I mean, the group's a bit large to manage on my own and you might enjoy bouncing a few ideas around. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Regularly late for practice. It's the buses. Can you not get an earlier bus? My dad, he can't drop me off like he did before. So I've got to get the bus in it, but there's no direct bus from where I live, so I've got to run through town. It's really hard work in the mornings, I'm not going to lie. Have you told Vincent about this? Yo, Sabrina, we're all waiting for you. Let's go. Okay, yeah. Okay, we'll talk about this after the session. Okay, now everyone get into positions. We're going to mix things up a bit. Everyone take a snack. OK, give me that. There you go. I can see what you're trying to do. Trying to solve everyone's problems isn't going to work, all right? So what did you think of her then? Oh, well, yeah, she's really nice. I just like her vibe, you know. <laughs> but you really like her vibe. Okay. I just like her. Yeah, I actually quite like the orange, to be fair. I just didn't think I ever needed her. Yeah, but did you never do like your father day? Hi, <laughs> Chris. Hmm? I'm talking to the doctor, I feel like an orange. I am not even going to let yourself embarrass yourself by finishing that joke. <laughs> Last bus I have to get drops off down the road, so it's not so bad. But it's the one in town I have to walk like 20 minutes to get there, so it's a bit of a trek. Well, that's crazy. Hang on, I, I have to drive through town anyway, so why don't I just pick you up? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. That'd be great. Yeah, I'll come back for that.
All right, change over. I understand you didn't follow my instructions. Instead, you mixed things up a bit. I thought you weren't back until the end of next week. Well, it's a good job I trusted my instincts then, isn't it? Who knows what harm you might have done. Come on! An old women with better stamina than you. Come on, move it! What's going on, guys? It's not good enough, is it? You don't look as if you want to be here. What's happened to you all? I'm asking you a question. Do you want to be here? And you're all absolutely knackered. I go away for two minutes and this is what I come back to. If you don't want to be here, go home now. Why aren't you going to say something? What was the point of all that, huh? Bringing us in oranges? Switching things up in training? What was the point? Are you trying to look good in front of everyone? Are you trying to buy people's respect? I was trying to help. Yeah, well, help us now, Sabrina. We need your help now. This isn't my team. This is Vincent's team. So if you've got a problem with him or his coaching, maybe you should tell him. He has never listened to me before, so what makes you think he will now? Cool. Great talk. Maxine, do you want to be selected for these next competitions? If you don't, just tell me now. I'm trying, coach. Trying? Trying everyone's patience. What have you all been doing since I went away? I take my eye off you for just a few minutes and all your heads have all gone soft. What have you done to my team, Sabrina? You've ruined them. How hard could it be? I left clear and simple instructions. You'd have to be a complete idiot to mess it up. Or did you do it deliberately? Didn't take you long, did it? Funny how you couldn't try it on whilst I was around. Well, you've made a big mistake, young lady. A very big Vincent, mistake. Vincent, stop, man. You're showing a lot of balls out of your son. Well, I don't need you or any of you to tell me what to do. What are you talking about, man? You all seem to be forgetting the reason why you're here. You're not here to play games or whine about, oh, he's hurt my feelings. You're here to learn how not to be losers. If any of you got a problem with it, well, you know what you can do. Why do you do that? Why do you start threatening people just to make a point? I'd back off if I were you, Lewis. No, why do you embarrass people and ridicule them when they say they just want a break? Lewis, I said leave it. No, I'm not going to leave it. I said leave it, Lewis. No, I'm not going to leave it. Because you treat us like we're dogs or we're in the army or something when we're just kids trying I to learn how to... Right, get out of here, Lewis, before I kick out myself. Think you're a big man no, now. No, I'm thinking... Stop! Thank you, Lewis, for speaking up for all of us. I've got this. Okay, guys, we're gonna finish this session early and we're gonna come back to it first thing tomorrow, okay? Okay? Yes, coach. Yes, coach.
You always loved this spot. I remember training here with you and the girls. Hey, I, I came to say I'm sorry for the way I acted the other day. Also, me and my best. You lost it. You lost your self-control and you lost this image that I had of you as this perfect coach. You're a good coach, Vincent. But coaches are often made better when they value the team around them. I came here to say I'm sorry, but I'm not going to stand here and be patronised by you. Those who want to stay with me, they can stay. And those who want to leave, well, they know what they can do. Wait, how do you know whether you've got it wrong or not, Vincent? How do you know whether you've crossed that line too far? What are you talking about? You're a good coach, Vincent, but what if you're not as good as you think you are? There are so many things that you don't seem to notice. And it's the things that someone in your position or someone in our position should be aware of. What? Who shows the most commitment on the team out of everyone? It's the same person who enjoys the most of your punishments. Connor. He travels for over two hours each day to get to training and two hours to get back home. But because he's late, you punish him with push-ups. You single him out for something he has absolutely no control over. Well, he should have told me. What? Speak up against you? You honestly think he has the confidence to question the great Vincent Revy? And then there's Maxine. The whole reason her car's constantly ache is probably because she needs insoles to support her when she's running. Well, maybe, but... Christopher, he can't even peel an orange, never mind what is healthy or is good for him. It's starting to sound ridiculous now. This is all well and good, but it's got absolutely nothing to do with me. I'm not the parent. I don't have that level of responsibility. But you're their coach, Vincent. Yeah, I'm the sports coach. And that is it. If I had a magic wand, I'd, I'd change a lot of things. <laughs> Look, I can see how this makes sense in your world, but it's making no sense to me. You push those kids to add. Like being alone with them this past week, it's reminded me how much you pushed me when I was their age. I was just a kid, Vincent. Just because people don't tell you the concerns or the worries, it don't mean that there aren't any. You have no idea the kind of impact that you have on people, do you? I don't know, I honestly thought you were smarter than that. Yeah, well, I am who I am. Clearly, I made a promising coach out of you, though. All that, that was amazing. Real ballsy stuff. You could go toe to toe with the best of them, Sabrina. I mean it. I always knew you had it in you. Come on. I'll be back. Don't worry about it, Vincent. It's cool. We got this. It's cool. <laughs> 